It is nothing short of astonishing how much President Trump is getting done that Obama couldn't do, or how much Trump is getting done to unravel the horrible things that Obama had been doing. Uh, many illegal things, many very dangerous and unwise things, like uh, granting Iran the capability to acquire nuclear weapons and then fraudulently funneling, funneling uh, tens of billions of dollars worth of cash and gold to Iran to pay for their nuclear weapons program. That's what Obama did. That was called the Iran nuclear deal. And by the way, you know, the left lies constantly. Everybody on the left in the mainstream media or at high levels, they are sociopathic liars and they say, oh, this was a treaty. It wasn't a treaty. It was never passed by Congress. It was never signed by Congress. It was never approved by the Senate, which has to approve treaties, by the way. This was nothing but Barack Obama's personal handshake with radical Iranian nuclear you know, weapons developer people. That's all it was. He bypassed law. Obama did so much in his presidency that, that actually went around Congress because he couldn't get Congress to approve uh, much of what he wanted to do. And so he would go around Congress and he would issue executive orders and he would imply that they're treaties when they're not actually treaties. And this is what the Iran deal was. And that's how President Trump pulled out of it, basically involved him just saying, well, you know what? This isn't a law. This isn't a treaty. This is just Obama's uh, uh, personal opinion. And uh, we don't agree with that. So we are not going to funnel money to Iran so that Iran can have nuclear weapons and can nuke Israel and other countries in the Middle East. That's what Trump said. You know, essentially, I'm paraphrasing. And thank God for that. Thank God Trump got us out of the Iran nuclear deal. Of course, the, the left-wing media is going insane. And now they're, they're trying to claim that Trump just wants to dismantle everything Obama did just because Obama did it. And, of course, all these radical leftists like uh, Hillary Clinton and, and, you know, John Kerry, Joe Biden, all of and Barack Obama, they're all just going berserk over the fact that Trump pulled out of this Iran nuclear deal. I think, although I can't prove this, I don't have any evidence of this, this is just a, a guess, but I bet they're all skimming off the top of that. I bet, you know, $33.6 billion of gold and cash sent to Iran, I bet you there's a billion of that flowing back into the Clintons and, and you know, or maybe hundreds of millions. There's probably hundreds of millions flowing back into somehow the Democratic Party under Barack Obama and his resistance army, whatever he's trying to build. I have no doubt. Again, I can't prove it, so it's not a proven allegation. It's just knowing these people and knowing how, how evil they are. They're, they're steeped in evil. They're horrible people. They do this kind of thing all the time. They got to be skimming off this deal. They're getting paid. I mean, the Clinton Foundation was the, the most fraudulent, and most egregious criminal nonprofit cartel in the history of the world. You know, Hillary Clinton would get paid hundreds of millions of dollars as uh, pre, pre selling White House influence while her husband was raking in hundreds of thousands of dollars you know, for a speech, for a silly 20-minute speech. This, this is a money laundering method that's used by leftists. It, they want somebody to give them, you know, millions of dollars. And they just claim it's a speech fee. So they go speak for 20 or 30 minutes. They don't even have to prepare the speech. It doesn't even matter if there's only 20 people attending. And then they get paid a half a million dollars or a million or whatever the case may be. This is, this is money laundering, in essence. It's, uh, it's payola. It's bribery. But they call it speech fees. Of course, when Hillary Clinton lost the election, thank God, uh, what happened to her speaking fees? Well, they collapsed. No one wants to hire Hillary Clinton to speak all of a sudden. Huh, that's funny. How could that be if she's such an awesome speaker that she's worth half a million dollars to give a 30-minute speech? Why is it that suddenly her speeches don't have any market value? Uh, could it be that she's not going to be president anymore? <laughs> huh? Could that be it? Of course that's it. Because uh, no one wants to hear Hillary Clinton speak. I mean, people would rather scrape their fingernails on a chalkboard repeatedly 24-7 than hear Hillary Clinton screeching her equality uh, explanations over and over again and condemning all men and condemning all Trump 
supporters as a basket of deplorables and so on. No one wants to hear Hillary Clinton speak. Not even the Democrats want to hear Hillary speak. They want her to go the hell away. Go away, Hillary. That's, that's what the Democrats are saying. Because if she stays active, she's going she's gonna to lose the midterms for the Democrats, which is why, of course, in a twisted kind of way, we want Hillary to remain active. Please, Hillary, please keep, keep speaking through November. Keep uh, going on TV and, and telling the world how evil men are and how evil uh, conservatives are and how evil white people are and how, and how you were denied the presidency by, what, any one of 17 reasons so far, and it's never your fault, even though you're a criminal leader of an illegal cartel. That's probably skimming off the Iran nuclear deal. That's my point here. Again, I can't prove it. Just, just, just knowing these people, that's how they operate. I mean, why, why is Obama and John Kerry and Hillary Clinton and others, why are they screaming so loudly about canceling this deal? It's as if they have, it's like they're losing money on it or something. It's, it's like you don't hear people being that emotionally involved in it unless they're financially involved usually. You know, people like that, I mean, at that level of, of corruption. But thank God Trump is dismantling it. He's taken us out of all these bad deals, these horrible deals that Barack Obama put us into, like the Paris Climate Accord, which was also not signed as a treaty. It was not signed. It was not a treaty. The Senate never ratified it, okay? So the left lies about that. They say, oh, it's a treaty. It's a climate change treaty. No, it's not a treaty, actually. It's just another Barack Obama memo, another Barack Obama handshake, Barack Obama faking it. As usual, because that's all the Democrats know how to do, is just fake it, lie, commit fraud, money laundering, payola, bribery, you know, murder the people that they don't like, Seth Rich, you name it, that's what they do. And so Barack Obama got us into the Paris Climate Accord because, of course, the whole point of Barack's presidency was to destroy the U.S. economy. And what better way to do that than to destroy our economic productivity through the Paris Climate Accord? That was the whole point of that, and Trump got us out. Thank God, thank God that we elected President Trump. Thank ourselves, too, because I voted for Trump, and of course, most real Americans did vote for Trump. So many of the votes for Hillary were illegal alien non-citizen votes. They, they shouldn't count, but they did. And people say, well, Hillary won the majority vote. Uh, not of real Americans, she didn't. Not a chance. Real Americans voted for Trump. And besides, the Electoral College is what determines the win, and Trump won fair and square. So visit my website, trump.news, to read more about Trump. It's trump.news. And, of course, you can hear more of my podcasts at healthrangerreport.com. But more importantly, what I've got coming up soon, launching in July, is the YouTube alternative, the free speech platform, called Real.video, where pro-Trump videos will be, of course, welcomed. So check all that out at um, Real.video video and thank you for your support be safe god bless america learn more at healthrangerreport.com thank you for watching if you want to support our mission visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living it's at healthrangerstore.com <laughs>